Hey, what's up, y'all? This is D. Rose, point guard for the Chicago Bulls. Make sure you watch next year. Peace out. <laughs>
Um, for me, I could care less about what people say about me. Um, if anything, I, I know who I am as a person. I know the people around me and the people that I trust. Um, I know they're always in my corner and I'm always in their corner. And at the end, it's really just me and my family. So um, I could care less what people say about me. It's always room for improvement. Um, starting this up, I mean, just start back playing. I just try to go through everything, start from the basics and really work myself back up where it started doing basic layups, mic and drills. Um, start my flow of the game back. Um, really get my left hand a lot, a lot better where I'm able to finish with my left hand a little bit better than before the injury and just trying to polish every little, even not if I don't polish it all the way, just polish it, polish it a little bit more better than before the injury. I think we're gonna be a good team. We have a young nucleus. We had Jimmy Butler, who I think is gonna be playing a lot next year. I don't know if he's, if he's gonna be starting, but he's gonna be playing a lot. He's in the gym all the time working out. Um, Joe Kim is someone working out right now. Everybody's getting better individually, so. Um, when you have a, a young group like that that's been playing together for three or four years, the same group, I think we're going to be a tough team to beat. Lou is like the father figure of the team, making sure people go in, stay in um, for the night if we have a big game, just letting us know that he, he's always there for us. And um, he's usually the most, he's the most vocal um, teammate that I have right now. Joe Kim, of course, he gets emotionally involved in the game, but Lou, for sure, you always gonna hear him, making sure everybody's calming down at the right moment. I always say I always want to be known as a winner. Um, winning takes care of everything, touches every category. If you're worried about money, if you win, you don't gotta worry about that. If any category you could think of, winning takes care of that in my sport. What's been the most memorable moment of your career? Is there any uh, particular stand-up performance uh, that you can remember that you look back on? I try to forget about that too. <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah. I look at um, like my YouTube videos sometimes just to see like how I play, but I guess a new beginning for me. Like I could actually um, um, do something that no other player ever did. Like I know it's gonna be a lot of attention on me next year, and for a player that's that's trying to become an icon. That's the stage that that you will live for. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. I don't look up to nobody now in the league. Um, probably in college, you know, but it's different when you actually watching a guy on TV, then the next year you have to play against that guy. You can't be scared. Uh, you can't go out there shaking his hand and wanting to be his friend and trying to play against him. It don't add up, especially you being competitive, he being competitive, you're just trying to find that edge on that person. And who knows that edge can be you shaking his hand and for the rest of your career, he know that he got you because of that handshake. So I don't, uh, I think the toughest guy to guard is LeBron. Uh, you already know. <laughs> The way that he plays, he's a, like a big point guard out there, um, blocking shots, um, just playing aggressive. Like he's usually the most aggressive guy when he steps on the court. One of your life mottos, I've read, is that everybody eats. Yeah. Can you explain kind of a little more about what that means to you? Um, me and my guys, I have like some people have um, probably one friend, two friends. Or so you got a lot of people out there that don't trust anybody. But for me, I have seven guys that I trust. Um, guys that I've been knowing since I was in third grade. Some guys I've been knowing since I was in sixth grade. Um, eighth grade, high school. And we just hung around each other every single day. Um, just communicating with one another and just letting us know, letting each other know that we really love each other, and um, everybody eats. Is every actually all of us got the tattoo, and that's something that we live by. Where um, I think you have a lot of groups, or you have teams where um, you have people jealous of another person that usually tear 
tear the team up or people get mad at the other person and snitching and all that stuff happened. But for me, I learned from other people's mistakes, looking back at the history and I knew that if everybody, if everybody's on the same page, it shouldn't be that way. After basketball, um, after basketball, wow. Um, my God, I'm gonna tell you my goal. My goal is to be a billionaire. So hopefully after basketball, I'll be the CEO of some company or something. I'm appreciative of everything, trust me. I thank God every day about just my life. And that's why I just try to bring, uh, just share it with the youth because just giving them that hope that they could go out there and do whatever they want to do if they really believe in it and take the time out to really work hard at their craft. They could be anywhere in the world.